Look towards San Francisco's Pier 39, where big crowds are out and about enjoying the first holiday weekend since the state's reopening. KPX 5's Betty Yu shows us what's going on around town. Betty? After a year off, tourists and locals alike are enjoying attractions across the city, including sites like Fisherman's Wharf. Businesses are also ready to celebrate this 4th of July weekend. Music filled the air at the first ever Thrive City block party outside Chase Center. People lounged in the public space as chefs fired up the grill. They also checked out food trucks and lined up for free barbecue. It's great. I mean, after a whole year of um, following the rules, uh, not going out, um, and now we're finally safe. We're finally safe enough to be out, see other people. Um, it's nice to see smiles again beneath the masks. I feel I love it. I don't. I can finally get some air and breathe. It's exciting to be out. It, it's very lively. The free event continues tomorrow with more vendors, health and wellness sessions, and kid-friendly activities. It feels good. Yeah, I see a lot of people out here enjoying the time. A lot of people wearing masks. I got mine, but I just took mine off. You know, I'm drinking, but it's, it feels good. San Francisco's famous attractions are seeing the return of visitors this weekend. Some checked out the Sky Star Observation Wheel inside Golden Gate Park. Others lined up to get into the Cal Academy of Sciences. Fisherman's Wharf is also expecting larger than usual crowds this holiday weekend. The farmer's market outside the ferry building was also buzzing with activity. Rolly Roti Gourmet Rotisserie's line stretched several yards. They expect to sell more than 500 of their popular porchetta sandwiches this afternoon. I think it gives everyone hope uh, that the normalcy is around the way, and it's like, you know, having everyone's spirits come back. So I, I think it's a really wonderful thing for the Bay Area to be out and about again. So it feels good for all the businesses too. Today, more than 80% of San Franciscans have received at least one vaccine dose, giving people more confidence to be out and about. It's a little bit scary because we have a little one, but I think luckily we live in California where for the most part, people are vaccinated and if they're not, they're wearing masks. Um, so it's not too bad. Tomorrow, the city's famed fireworks show will return to the waterfront for the first time since 2019. In San Francisco, Betty Yu, KPIX 5. Show starts at 9.30 tomorrow night. Fireworks will be launched from two barges in the bay near Fisherman's Wharf. Question now, though, is can you see them?